We need clean water for drinking, we need clean water for the industry, we need clean water to produce food. And at the moment, the fresh water availability is under pressure due to climate change, due to pollution, due to urbanization. The oceans are greatly overfished. Uh, uh, a lot of habitat is destroyed. Pollution with chemicals, pollution with uh, plastics, which is a new emerging uh, topic. Yes, there really are many threats. And we're actually realizing that these people for two or three months of the year, they drink salt water. They have these shallow groundwater pumps and at one point they turn salt and then they have to wait until they return fresh. And that was actually realized that there is a large urgency to do that. And we tried to find solutions in terms of changing land use or changing water use patterns. So now they do a lot of rice farming where they need freshwater resources, but maybe they can change to shrimp or other aquatic water uses where they can use the salt water. In this small tube, we have a very small piece of plastic and we found this piece of plastic in a humpback whale. Microplastics are everywhere. And now you see one piece of microplastic coming out of this organism. Actually, they are in the air that we are breathing now. They're in the soil. They are in the water, in the rivers. There could be an ecological threat due to plastic debris. And to be able to see where this threat uh, exists and when, we have to do research. When you swim in a very healthy reef with a lot of fish, is how it can be so teeming with life. It is so full. Nothing is left and for the livelihood of the local fishermen, this is a disaster. So what we want is find the best way to kickstart a natural reef again. This is a coral nursery tree. I was really happy when I was swimming here, also seeing all the fish that already consider this their home, while it's still not even planted on an artificial reef. In these experiments we want to see how we can use plants or green solutions to treat the wastewater so that the industry can reuse their wastewater. At the moment we discharge wastewater in the oceans. If you would use it again, it gives a lot of more potential. You can both use the water and use the nutrients in the water, while now it's just being uh, discharged. We can solve these problems if we understand it better and if we act wisely based on new knowledge.